Pampers, whatever you want to call it. A um, little bit rough looking because I've been out exercising and bicycling, as it were. And uh, a thought came to mind uh, for people in general who want to make a change in their lives. Uh, keep talking about it, don't do it. Or start making a change, doing it once or twice and then go back to normal routine. What you really want is to transform. And to create that transformation, you have to keep doing those changes repeatedly over and over again. So I just made another video, but I'll repeat myself here. Um, because when I was out bicycling today, it occurred to me. Uh, I've been off for, for a bit because I haven't been around basically. And, um, and then the weather got mulky. And, but the truth to be told, it's, it's not snowy, it's not freezing, I can still bicycle. So I took it out again. And when you make a change, when you decide to do things differently, yeah, there will be obstacles. You bet your ass there will be. When you decide to create a healthier lifestyle for yourself, yeah, that pie and candy and cake, they will look good. Okay? And it's up to you to say no to make that change, okay? It's not me. It's not YouTube. It's not anybody else out here. It's not your friends, your family. It's you. You could do it for your family and for your kids and what that because I said it before. Believe you me, they might not listen, but they are watching. If you want to be a good example for your kids in future generations, show them how it's done, okay? That's how they so called listen, okay? That's what they're doing. And ultimately, at the end of the day, you're doing it for you anyway. Do it for your kids, yeah. But you do it because you want to be around for them. Because you want to fulfill that obligation goes almost back to the discussion. I don't really believe there's such thing as true altruism. Everything you do is for, for self at the end of the day. But that's a different discussion and you may or may not agree with me. But question. But anyway. So. My point is. Will there be barriers? Heck yeah. Will you overcome them? I don't know that. Only you know that answer. And we all do them. I do too. I had to kick myself to get on the bicycle this morning. It's wet and it's damp. It might not be roasting hot neither, right? Warmer, but it's not hot. And, but I feel so much better for doing it now. And the first time you cross that barrier and say no to the cake or pie or whatever it might be, get your butt out, go for a walk, and do that thing, it's a big obstacle. The second time it becomes a little bit easier. Right? Then the third time you might start finding excuses. Okay? Keep doing it, keep doing it. By the tenth time, it'd be way easier to say no to the cake and yes to the exercise. By the twentieth time, you're almost, now you're almost creating a transformation. Okay? The more you do it, and from the tenth time, the twentieth time, the hundred and twentieth time, depends from person to person. How set are your old routines into because they go into cellular level believe it or not it's your cells that cries for candy it's your cells that cries for laziness and when you say you know what cells i'm in command here's what we'll do they're gonna say no so you're gonna have to fight that battle and depending on how long you've been stagnant the harder it's gonna be to get over that barrier so you're <clears throat> transforming you're creating a new persona basically and you're leaving that behind. And it's not just change of diet, not just change of exercise, it's the whole you as a being. That's why exercise is so important. Yeah, for your body, but also because you change who you are and everything else becomes easier. So, that was just what I wanted to blab about. That was what came out of my exercise this morning, basically. And that's why I need to go and shower. How about that? <laughs> so, Again, YouTube can help you, I can help you. But if you do have questions, let me know, leave a comment or contact me. <clears throat> I will answer uh, in any way I can. Or go over to my blog and check, because I post daily and write daily. So, And you might find stuff there that's handy. So, wishing you a magnificent, fantastic day. Ciao, see you next time.